België in Berendoor in Nuremberg, Craig de Lucky. He is Senior Vice President Embedded Process. Welcome. Very, very nice to be here. Nice to have you here. Today we will talk about the IoT and, and the market, the IoT market. Uh, Craig, what are you presenting at the show? Well, I'm responsible for Embedded Processing, which is a pretty big portfolio, and it's always great to be at a show like this because the entire show is about embedded applications, and we have a very broad set of technologies from microcontrollers to processors to wireless connectivity. We're demonstrating a lot of things in our booth, but at the press conference this afternoon, we are, we are going through and making some new product announcements specifically in our connectivity area, where we are bringing some pretty fundamental discontinuities in terms of of low power wireless technology for the embedded market. Very a big topic. Yeah, very big. It's a very big topic. And what is TI's embedded processing strategy exactly? Again, if you look at um, if you look at what we're doing embedded, it starts with those fundamental building blocks of uh, those ingredient technologies, right, right. and then what we do is we really focus market by market to craft the right combination of those technologies, in addition to the greater TI capability that we have across analog, right. to go in and show customers how we can solve problems. When we talk about embedded, you could talk about markets like industrial, which are very big and broad, and that we take and we break down into building automation or factory automation or um, uh, uh, defense and avionics or things like that. But then we get down into the details of the individual systems and it, whether it's a microcontroller based system or a processor based system, it will always tend to use lots of components from TI. So that's a, sure. really a big part of our strategy is the breadth of our product offering now complemented with showing customers how Road it can be used portfolio. in a very specific application to solve a problem. Right, and what are your thoughts on the IoT and how is TI positioned? I mean, the IoT is uh, its interesting. It's probably the most overhyped word in the electronics it's business. It's a huge today. market. It's a huge market, but I think one of the issues that we have in the market is people are trying to describe IoT as a market by itself, right? right? And it, that it's like it's a cell phone or it's a cable modem or it's a set-top box. It it's isn't. It's really it's a it is a an enabling technology that mm -hmm. we believe will go across absolutely every market segment. So if you if you're in an automobile, if you're in a factory automation, if you're in home, think about personal electronics. Every single market that you can think of will be able to leverage these technologies. So it's tremendously exciting in terms of the opportunity. Now one of the things we have to do when we talk about IoT is because of the breadth of customers that are interested in this, and literally everybody is interested in this, one of the big barriers is you've got to take this incredibly complex technology and you've got to figure out a way to simplify. You've got to make it easy to use because you may be dealing with a customer who's never done anything in networking. They don't understand RF systems. So the core of our strategy is number one, drive low power, but number two, drive ease of use. And that means chips that are easy to use, development boards that are you know inexpensive for customers to buy, uh, lots of examples online. Integration. Everything, really doing it all the way from modules through the individual chips to help customers get to production. We have to demystify the challenges associated with building a wireless system and make it something that anybody can do, not just right. someone who has been in the RF industry for the last 25 years. So, I, And I think that's a really important part of our strategy because we want to take it everywhere. For sure. For sure. Could you please tell me more about SimpleLink? Yeah, that's really the whole concept behind SimpleLink is simple link. It's a simple way to implement the wireless standard. So these tend to be completely integrated solutions that um, are, are standalone in nature. So we integrate the, um, the uh, PAs, we'll integrate the software stacks, we'll virtually integrate everything. So it is just one standalone chip to implement a Bluetooth function, a Zigbee function, a Wi-Fi function, etc. All of the software will be provided to the customer, and then we have members in the family that have open um, portions of the chip through the extra microcontroller controller to enable them to write their own applications. But everything is tuned to make it simple. And what we're announcing today is what we believe is a fundamental discontinuity in terms of 
Um, we are dramatically lower power than anybody else in the industry. We have the support for more wireless standards than anybody. We, in fact, we support 14 separate wireless standards. And I think you'll see a level of integration that is unparalleled uh, from, uh, from TI today. And what about security? Yeah, security is a very important part of this equation and everybody is is talking about it. And we've been working on security solutions as part of all of the chips that we do. There are things that we can protect in terms of what happens on the chip. Mm -hmm. There are things that we can protect in terms of not allowing people to, people to tamper or try to deconstruct what's happening inside of the chip. And then also when you start to talk about IoT and things now over the network, there are things we do in hardware and software terms to enable security for our customers. And we believe that's an absolute fundamental to the, to the value proposition of all the technologies. Mm -hmm. Talking about strategy, what are your future plans? I mean, the future plans, it sounds a little mundane, but uh, we're going to continue to be to do what we've been doing for the last 35 mm -hmm. years of being in this business. Um, you know, we're going to stay focused on the industrial markets. Automotive markets are the core of our focus. Um, we're right. accelerating what we're doing for innovation, and we're trying to do some really fundamental innovations in terms of technology breakthroughs with low power and ease of use that will enable our our products to be used by broader and broader sets of customers. That's kind of at the core. No big revolution from a strategy standpoint. Just really trying to continue to accelerate what we're doing there. Okay. Thank you, Greg, for this interview and for the insights in your company. Pleasure to be here. Thank you, Carolina.